All right, fall is right around the corner, Pops. Let's give everyone our market update. Let's start with new cars, then we'll talk about used cars, and we'll spend some time talking about interest rates as well. Let's start with the good news. It is a buyer's market for the first time in a long time when it comes to new cars, and that's because inventory is building and prices are finally starting to come down just a little bit. Let's start the conversation there, Dad. Inventory is up, right? Like up significantly from the chip shortage and when be, uh, dealers didn't have any uh, vehicles on their lot. It, it is it is the first time in a long time where we've seen inventories build up close to uh, pre-pandemic levels. And the most wonderful thing about it is we have seen the percentage of incentives in order to get people to buy these vehicles as a percentage of the transaction price go up significantly. We're up to slightly over 7% trying desperately to get back to the 10 to 11 percent uh, that we were at pre-pandemic. So this all bodes well for customers moving forward on new cars. As inventory builds up, you have more negotiability, more leverage. And like you were saying, Dan, we have seen headlines galore from automakers. I'm thinking Nissan, Mazda, and others who have talked about how much they've had to increase their incentive spending to try and get their vehicles to continue to sell. That's more good news for consumers. Another piece of good news for new vehicles in particular would be interest rates. We expect interest rates to come down a little bit and at a minimum, it ties back to the incentives. We have seen significant interest rate subventation Subvented interest rate, 0%, 1.9%, 0.9%, et cetera, from the automakers. So that's a good news story here as well for new cars. As more inventory builds up, you should expect to continue to see those incentives. And as interest rates come down, we should see slightly more competitive uh, interest rates for people who can't even get the uh, the subvented interest rate, which would drive down that monthly payment, which we know a lot of people are concerned about. A absolutely. Probably about 84 to 85% of all buyers out there are what's known as payment buyers. People who are only interested in is into how much it's going to cost them on a monthly basis. And with the lowering of interest rates and more subvented interest rates, we should see payments drop to a degree that should become more affordable for more people hopefully. Now, another storyline here for new vehicles, Dad, leasing is making a comeback in a big way. We've got plenty of videos yes. on the Car Edge YouTube channel talking about how to negotiate a lease and things like that. We have resources back on caredge.com for that as well. But leasing is taking a, a, a bit of a foothold here. More and more people choosing to lease, especially new electric vehicles. You get access to the federal tax credits, which is really nice. And also automakers are subventing the residual values and the money factors. And, and they're trying to incentivize customers to lease more vehicles Justin on our team has put together a great guide tracking all the best lease deals right now. But that's another thing that new car shoppers should be considering. Maybe they've always financed in the past, but in the fall and winter of 2024, leasing might be a really good option. Lease is the option if you are strictly payment conscious. It is the least expensive way to get the most expensive vehicle. So true, you won't own anything, but... In most cases, if you finance a vehicle for 60, 72, or 84 months, you're trading it in before you ever pay it off. So you never owned it anyway. So just for those who want a cheaper payment, leasing is a viable option. Some examples, Dad, you can get a Chevy Trax for under $250 a month. So again, if you're a monthly payment shopper, which most of us are, obviously we, we really, really, really endorse and suggest you look at out the door price, you negotiate the out the door price, but at the end of the day, if you're thinking about your monthly payment, and especially that we know a lot of people have negative equity and one way to get rid of negative equity is to roll that into a lease that you then pay off. Chevy tracks for $250 a month, not such a bad idea right now. Sounds good to me. Let's talk about used cars for a moment, Pops. We've seen used car price volatility for the past couple of years go crazy high and crazy low. Things are normalizing a little bit. Used car prices have been falling in 2024, which is a good thing, but they've started to stabilize a little bit. And that's because there were so many new vehicles that weren't produced over the past two and three years that are now not making it to the market as used vehicles. So I think our expectation is generally that the used car market is not a buyer's market or a seller's market. It's kind of neutral. And we expect to see prices stay kind of flat, maybe come down a little bit. The bigger story on used cars, that will be trade-in values. My expectation, I'm curious your take on this, my expectation is that trade-in values go down significantly as dealers, you know, they, they're not going to want to pay up for that. We're seeing dealers go out of business right now, so I don't think they're going to really want to pony up all the cash to buy all those trade-ins. Uh, two to three-year-old uh, lower mileage vehicles dealers will pay all the money for. Things older than that, higher mileage dealers are, are really 
uh, rethinking how much those type of vehicles are worth. I, I think used car pricing is kind of like Switzerland at the moment. It's kind of neutral and will probably remain neutral. Um, if you're looking for two to three year old, younger, lower mileage vehicles, I still believe we will see those um, bring a, a premium and people will pay a premium for those type of vehicles. Um, so if you want savings, look for those four or five-year-old vehicles with relatively low miles. And definitely, definitely, definitely get a pre-purchase inspection on any used vehicle. We know the quality of used vehicles that are making it to the market are you know, not so great. We know that the repos, the amount of repo vehicles making it to the dealer auctions are up significantly from pre-pandemic times, 2018, 2019. So you know, there are more repo vehicles at the dealer auctions, which means more repo vehicles making it onto the dealer's floor. And so you really need to be prepared to do a pre-purchase inspection. And as always, if the dealer won't let you do a pre-purchase inspection, that is one of those red flags for a used vehicle. You should absolutely feel comfortable having a, uh, you know, an independent uh, set of third-party eyes on a vehicle before you purchase it. So definitely two to three-year-old vehicles, I agree with you, Dad, they're still gonna command a high price point because there's so few of them. Those four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 year old vehicles, pre purchase inspection. You have to do it. Yep. Dealers have been reporting that the condition reports on the pre owned vehicles being offered at auction are at the lowest point they've ever been. Dealers cannot believe the quality of some of these vehicles, how, how poor the condition is of the vehicles, how much money they would need to spend to bring it up to uh, roadworthiness and state safety uh, guidelines. So be careful on some of those older cars. Absolutely, as Zach said, a pre-purchase inspection on any, any pre-owned car is a must. You can download our fall and winter kind of preview for what the car market's going to be. The link is in the description down below. So take a peek at that. And again, the macro trends, the big trends, new car, buyer's market, dealer profits starting to come down, inventory building, incentives up, used cars, Switzerland. I like how you said that, that in interest rates, potentially some good news around the corner. As always, we've got you covered here at Car Edge. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you like this information. And again, Get that free guide. It's in the link down below. Thank you, Dad, as always. Thank you, Handsome. Enjoyed it.